pause pause let's go back i call this effect the So this is my second tutorial on this channel. My first tutorial was on color grading and I don't think I did a good job at all. It's like a beginner um, guide, but I was talking a lot and anyways, anyways, I'm blabbing. I want this tutorial or uh, henceforth my tutorials to be for both beginners and also for advanced users of DaVinci Resolve so that everyone can follow it. Anyways, enough of my blabbing, let's hop into the tutorial. So first thing first, um, I've attached a picture below of this text bubble so you can download it and follow along. So we need to head over to Fusion and Control Spacebar and search for 3D Kia. So this is it and we need to click on this plus icon and come in here and draw a line. So generally what the 3D Kia does is that it helps you remove whichever picture that you don't want or not picture I mean to say, whichever color that you don't want and it's the output is usually in alpha output and that is what we need for this effect. So we hop in here, we drag this over this and we need to make it the same length with our footage. So yeah. Then we select this tool and create a new fusion clip. So we already have there with the effects. And we head over to fusion. So now we are in fusion. So for this effect, uh, we need to uh, make sure that at least we know what our media in one is and our media in two is. Normally, media in one due to the clip below is always going to be the first in the hierarchy. So, this is our main footage. So, we press F2 to rename and we change it to footage. And this is our text bubble. So, we are going to click F2 again and rename this to Conver Conversation for short. So now we need to start adding things. So generally for me personally, it depends on what you want to add. I want to add like text into this. So I'm going to click on control space and type in text. And we're going to get our text node. So our text node is automatically going to merge with the merge to node. So uh, we're going to come in here. And first of all, we need to make sure that we finish with the text before we start doing other effects. That's how I edit. So for here, I'm going to let's just write something. Jimmy. Uh, yo. Okay, come back here. Yo. What's up? And we change the color from white to black so we can see it. I think that is too big. Let's make it. This is this is okay. Then we need to um, make the alignment to be in one position, just like how we teach that text message on our phone or from a notification. Just make it something believable, I guess. So this is okay. We need to push it a bit towards this direction and up. Yeah. Um, just to make it more real for this text effects, let's add um, a timestamp. Like when you receive a message, there's usually a timestamp to it. So I will say 5.30 p.m. But normally our timestamp is usually towards this direction. So let's use space bar as it and yeah, around here is okay. One more enter. One more. I think this is okay. Let's come down and dig it down. Okay. I think we need to remove one space. Yeah, this is somewhat believable, I guess. It's somewhat believable. So now that I've finished with it, we need to add just a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. So we'll add a glow to the text. Mm, not on this node. So we're going to click on the uh, merge node 3 and we're going to add a glow node to it. 
so this is a bit too much but we can always come and back and reduce it so one and let's make this two 0.2 yeah this is okay for me yeah this is okay and the next part is uh, we need to add a dve node so generally what the dvd in um, dve node does is that it helps you um, position anything within a 3D space. But I will say it works best with a footage that you shot on something like a tripod where there is no much movement because if there's a lot of movement in it, like the camera is panning left or right, then I will say you can you should use like 3D tracker. But for this um, shot, due to a still, you can be able to use DVD to make it um, more like a 3D effect. So you will see in um, just a minute. So we add the DVD, DVE node. So let's see if, yes, so this is then, so in a text message, right, the arrow is pointing to this side, so it should be on the left side. So we need to position, but we need to reduce the size to, I think is a bit big. So I think 1.5 should be enough. So yeah, this is enough. Then we need to position it towards this direction. Then now here is where the rotation for the 3D comes in. So the X um, is going to turn it on the X axis and the Y is going to turn it on the Y axis. And the Z is going to turn it on the Z axis. So let's reset this and let's walk around and see what suits our image best, our footage best. So based on our footage, the phone is like this. So we need to make sure that uh, we can be able to use the X axis to bend it towards that direction so that it looks visually appealing. So like this is okay. Then for the Y direction, I usually go X Z then Y. So let me set the Z first. Set on that to say. So yeah, it's okay here. And let's go with this. And let me see. I think I need to reduce the text a little bit. Yeah, and I think. Yeah, this looks good to me this is okay so now that we are finished with this we need to we need to animate it and when it comes to animation there are many ways to animate on um, there are many ways to animate things on davinci resolve but for this i want to do a review animation you know like when you send a text message or when you see a notification it flashes and it goes out so for this we are going to use a rectangle node to be able to max it and use keyframe to expand on it and create an animation per se. So we need to go over to the mesh. So this mesh too is what is controlling the whole effect that I've been doing since because we have been working on the text bubble effect since. So this mesh too is where we need to add our rectangle node so that we can max everything together, both the text, the picture, the glow, everything. We're going to max it together. So we come over here and we click this and yeah, that is it. So now we need to, it depends on how you want to animate it. And when it comes to animation of like, let's say an effect, I will say the rule of thumb I use is five seconds, um, five frames. If we put something within five frames, um, is hard for people to see it visually. 10 frames, especially when you're working on a 24 frame per second timeline, people can see it. So 10 frames is going to be perfect for this effect. So that you can be able to like add like let's say sound effect of notification. So that is just it. And let's come over here and let's set it from this side. So can we push this? Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to keyframe here and at the end we are going to put it at this and keep here. So let's go back. So we need to take this out to this direction and we need to add, like add some soft edge a little bit to it. And I'll just put it at let me see one. Let me see how it looks. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Then we need to come over to this plane and we yeah, click on this and just make it a little bit um, smooth. So yeah, that is the effect. When you add um, your sound effect and everything, it all comes together and looks cinematic and good. So yeah, that is this for this tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something here. Yeah, anyway, peace and see you in the next video.